is part six of my Donald J. Trump Can You Hear Me series. And uh, it's a, basically it's a rhetorical question uh, because I, I really don't expect Donald J. Trump to hear me or listen to anything that uh, one little person has to say. Hi, my name is Bill Ryan and welcome to my world. Um, I'd like to uh, talk a little bit about an event that took place on October the 1st of last year, 2017. And uh, uh, it took place in Las Vegas, Nevada, where 59 people were gunned down and over 500 were injured. And this is a massive cover-up uh, that is designed specifically to deceive the, uh, the people of the United States. And uh, the, when I say that, uh, I, I'm talking more specifically about um, the fact that the the United States is not really a country, and um, we don't really live under a constitution. We are we are owned by the crown, and uh, people should look up or take the time to look up the second constitution of 1871 which just happens to be the very first year that we went to war with North Korea. That's when the Illuminati blocked the United States and we started invading other countries that did nothing to us to take them over and bring them under the Illuminati umbrella. And uh, everybody thinks, oh no, the Korean War was 1950 to 53. No, it started in 1871 and explains why North Korea is still at war. They've been at war for over a hundred years with the United States. Uh, the United States isn't really a country, it's a corporation. And if you doubt it, just look up the United States of America Incorporated Company of 1925, a Tallahassee Corporation. That should be all in caps. So, it helps to explain uh, these events that are taking place uh, around the world that we seem, we, the United States, seems to be somehow involved. So um, in Nevada, uh, these people were gunned down and, and uh, the event is, is still uh, horrific as I try to wrap my head around people that would do something like this. And the thing that has to be looked at when you look at the scene, when you look at the, uh, the uh, concert that was taking place, is on the news, the only thing you'll see is the, the window on the, I believe it was the 32nd floor that was shot out. And of course, the gunman was killed instantly, so he can't testify to what happened or didn't happen. Oh, we got the bad guy, that's it. Case closed. Uh, it's not exactly what happened, and uh, the, we, the people, are being deceived. And uh, if you take the time to research this a little bit better, you'll find that not only that window was shot out, but one about four rooms down was shot out. But you won't see that on the news. You won't see any images of that. And a uh, really disturbing part is there are videos of uh, a, a uh, submachine gun fire from about the second to the fourth floor on the end of the building by, by the lobby area. And from here, there, were, there was a guy shooting down at the people. Now, the police were inside this corral, and they uh, reported being shot at from multiple directions, multiple directions. Other hotels were firing down at the crowd, these poor trapped people. And uh, 
there were, uh, there's gates, there's entry gates around uh, the fenced in area for the people to come and, and see the concert. And all those gates were locked just at the time that this was happening. So you can see the, the multiple levels of people involved in the slaughter done deliberately. Now, uh, five other hotels uh, reported gunfire. So somebody came in the lobby and was shooting things off, uh, possibly, and I, I think blanks, just to create a, a, a divergence from what was happening here. That way, the guys who did this could get in their black government vans and drive away. So uh, the news media never went to any of the other hotels where there were reported fire. Um, the, uh, the, the, the cover up, the, the, the massive people involved in this, uh, it's just, it's just mind boggling. So I wrote to the sheriff of Clark County, uh, Joe Lombrado, and I accused him of being uh, a traitor. He stood up in front of the news media, and uh, you, there was an FBI agent standing right behind him. And I swear to God, if you looked close, you could see him holding a gun to uh, uh, the sheriff's head, to Joe's head. You could, you could, you could see it. He was very angry explaining how there was only one gunman when he knows full well his own men told him that there were multiple firings multiple uh, shooters so he knows it was a lie you could see he was lying and I, all I could think of is what while I'm watching him say this is what did that FBI man tell him you could he's almost reading from script oh yeah there's one gunman we got him he was dead bunch of lies he, he, what on earth did they have over him to make him be a traitor to this, to, to, to the people? What did they have over him? Were they holding his children and his wife hostage? Buddy, I don't, I can't imagine what they, what they have over him. But all I can say is, uh, what, what kind of a human being is this? If you're holding my wife and kids, kill them. I'm not going, I took an oath to defend these people and, and the Constitution. But maybe the, the thing is, he was in on it. He got his million dollars from the CIA and eh, everything's fine. So, so 58 people got killed. Eh, what the heck? I don't care. I got my million bucks. My kids are safe. I can, I can run for office again. Maybe I'll become governor. Yeah, what the heck? I, you know, what, what, what kind of human being is this? Well, he was a traitor not only to his to uh, the the men underneath him, but the com the community and the Constitution. Well, maybe he took an oath to the second Constitution, which negates anything that uh, you know. You don't have to be a real person. You can be uh, whatever he is, a traitor. Doesn't matter. It's not a real country. It's not a real government. It's a fake government, and. Uh, so I accused him of being a liar and, and um, uh, a traitor. And the amazing thing is, he never responded to my letter. Oh, what a surprise. So um, the, uh, uh, the man uh, accused, the, man, the dead body on the 32nd floor, the, the setup man, uh, he, he's, uh, he's what I call the Oswald man. It's just a... Uh, they learned with Oswald, you don't leave him alive for a couple of days so he can say how he was set up and framed. You kill him right away. Then, psh, dead men tell no tales. And it si silences him right up and, oh, we got the killer, case closed. But the big thing is, why Nevada? This concert's all over the United States. Why Nevada? Why was Nevada singled out as a place that this fake government should have a murder, a massive murder of innocent people uh, held in a pen. Why, 
Why would you pick Nevada? Well, it just happens that, uh, this is interesting, Nevada is a blue state. Oh, yeah. Oh, it's a democratic state in a Republican-run um, country. And uh, Harry Reid, the Democratic uh, majority leader, uh, he, that just happens to be his state. So what better message to send to the Democrats than uh, we're just gonna we're just gonna kill your people. Now we'll see if you had a, if you voted Republican, you wouldn't get killed. So the the thing that you have to do is just bear that in mind. If you don't uh, if you don't want your your homes burned down, if you don't uh, from the fake or from the fires like there are in California, yeah, you vote. Republican, and they'll leave you alone. They're singling out that state for a specific reason. And uh, it's very disturbing. So uh, I just wanted to make that clear for people that don't, that maybe don't see the whole big picture. That I want to thank you for watching this video, and I sincerely hope you enjoyed it. Thank you.